Hey Laura, I just wanted to sh uh, go over this with you real quick. It's kind of a question that people are having. Um, I know this rotisserie is new to everyone and it's a little bit different than probably the norm. It's just something that we came up with to solve problems that I was having personally, but then everyone does rotisseries and everyone does tumblers different. So um, your, your issues will be different per situation, but I wanted to go over um, with you and let you know how I take them off. Um, generally, I leave them on and for about an hour and a half until I take the tape off. I am a taper. I tape the top and bottom of my cups every single time because I like that clean edge and I like to be able to set a tumbler down forever and never worry about the edges chipping and all of that. So I've always taped the top and bottom. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier for me to remove from my rotisserie. Um, but anyway, I usually leave it on for about an hour and a half after I epoxy the first time, take the tape off. I put it back on and I leave it on for about, whoops, sorry about that, for about um, six hours. And I make sure that it's ready to be taken off before I take it off. When I can take mine off, I can set it on the, on the bottom because I, don't, I have taped it off and it has a silver bottom. Anyway, here's how I do it. Um, this cup is wet. I just did this earlier and I'm gonna take it off real quick. And all I do is I make sure I turn the motor off. Of course, my husband yells at me over that because I used to do it with the motor on all the time and he hates that. So I turn the motor off. I just grab the top and bottom of my cup and I brace my arm against the back brace and I take the, the cup off. And then I do my taping, I take the tape off or whatever I'm gonna do, and I put it back on carefully, holding the back, slip it back on, turn it back on. For me, this works because I, like I said, I tape the bottom, and I know that you do that as well. Even if you were to be a person that epoxies to the top of the cup and tapes the bottom off, this would still work because you can always grab the top carefully. I do that with my, my stemless wine glasses, and they, of course, they're the only things that I epoxy all the way. I just don't touch the bottom, but I do, what I do is I take tape off of them. I actually do take the tape, the tape, uh, take the tape off of the top of a stemless wine glass. Sorry, I'm fumbling. Um, anyway, I tape the top of those. So what I do is I leave a little, a little place to untape while it's spinning. I never touch those. I leave them on the whole time until they're dry. Um, but 95% of what I do is 20 ounce and 30 ounce, and some majority of them are taped top and bottom, and it makes it a little bit easier for me to take the uh, cup off of their rotisserie. But most of the time I leave them on until they're dry, until they're uh, about six hours at least, until they're capable of being taken, um, taken off of the rotisserie and I set them off to the side. Um, that's why I have so many individuals. I have about five individual rotisseries and I have the big bad one which I have right here spinning today. And that one has, um, has 22 stations on it. I had a six up for a long time and that's what I did. I would just simply um, take my the cup off of the individual after I was done working on it and I would put it on the uh, big one to dry and leave it there until it was done to make sure there was nothing wrong with it. My goal with these and the reason why we built them that way for me was because what was most important to me in this situation I wanted level and I wanted my cups to not fall off of the rotisserie. These are things I had issues with with every rotisserie that we tried and I hated it. I hate I hate on level because I don't I have too many cups that I'm doing for customers to have to sand a bump off the end of the cup and I just I, that's my worst nightmare. Second worst nightmare and probably my most favorite worst nightmare is coming in and finding the cup on the floor. And that happened a lot because the longer the shaft holding the cup on the rotisserie, the more it eventually got flopped in the shaft and it will eventually work the cup off onto the floor. So this is why we have such a close um, shaft here. It's very close to the base. It's very sturdy. It never will flop up and down and eventually make your cup fall off. And then that's why we also did the foam heads because the foam heads really snug onto the cup and leave them on and uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you understand this and um, I will talk to you soon. Thank you.